All right, YouTube. This will be our first video of the Coyote Cadillac. Pick this uh, 2000 Cadillac Escalade up. A really good deal. It's not running. It's been sitting for two or three years now. Um, right now, we believe it's the BCM that's not working. So, we are going to mess with that today and uh, get it running. We want to see if uh, any other major problems before we invest money into it. Um, very clean interior, exterior. Um, appears to be some wasp in it somewhere. So we're going to look for that. But first thing we're going to do is check the BCM. Yeah, I got a new battery to put in it. And uh, after that, we're going to check like ball joints. We're going to check uh, transmission, four wheel drive. Make sure all that is good before we invest any more money into it. And uh, if everything else checks out, we're going to make us a coyote hunting, predator hunting rig out of a 2000 Cadillac Escalade. See, see how that goes. All right, here we are. We got the uh, cargo area of the Coyote Cadillac cleaned out, vacuumed. We're going to do the build. Looks like we're going to go with a 46 wide by 46 deep uh, base drawer. We'll have two drawers on the bottom, and then we'll do the uh, rifle rack on the left side. Hopefully, we can screw squeeze three rifles uh, on top and then we'll do a shotgun mount on the left side going to keep the left side open as uh, much as we can so we can get to the spare uh, jack and stuff like that there on the side and uh, we'll see where it goes let's go ahead and do this build all right uh show you what we done here i'm not going to get into how to build drawers and stuff this isn't a carpentry video but basically what we built was just uh use some three quarter inch plywood we already had um and we're gonna make the three drawers next uh, all this is glued and screwed together now these are 46 deep now this one up here, the second one, this is uh, independent. It's not even bolted down yet. Um, I think that one was 41. You gotta account for the slope of the back seat as it leans back. So the higher you go, the shorter your measurement's gonna be. So, you know, we're 46 on this side. I think we're 43 over here, which is fine. This is all storage. Um, this is more storage than we need for this vehicle but we'll fill it up with something uh, next we'll get the uh, drawers put in or built and put in and we'll take a look at that i right, got the drawers uh built up and in and i'll just show you what we did there again the uh two bottom ones are a little bit longer and the top one's a little bit shorter because the angle of the seats uh, i left a gap in about a half Half inch gap. I'm gonna we'll put some uh, one piece of carpet under each one, making them a little bit quieter. I'm not doing any tracks on these; they're just straight pull out. Um, just not necessary for this. It doesn't have to be smooth. Um, but they're not pushed in all the way, obviously, because I wouldn't be able to get them out um, right now without handles. But basically, that's all we did. Built a uh, rectangle. Uh, Put a two by four in each corner and glued them. Uh, just tie everything together. Um, and that's it right there. We're going to do uh, 
We'll put the carpet down underneath the drawers next and then carpet the tops and sides and we'll come back after that. We're back, final video of the all black Coyote Cadillac. Talk about what we did on the front and the exterior. We uh, did the Raptor lining and it just come out beautiful. Uh, added the blue lights on the front are IR from black oak LEDs. The uh, 14 inch light bar from Night Life off of Amazon. And then uh, this bull bush guard uh, got up from a friend and uh, had it custom modified to fit the Cadillac so go around take a look at uh, the exterior and we'll get to the uh, gun storage rack show you guys what we did on the back here uh, Went with the basket, <clears throat> but I added this uh, 90 degree uh, bike rack. It swings away from the vehicle. Uh, my concern was not having a rack on the back because can't get to the back doors. And uh, after seeing that <clears throat> on Amazon, I'll show you how it works. Come in here. It's got a double safety on it. This is for traveling. It really stables it up, but uh, pull the pin. Had yoke ropes make me a little lanyard for it. Drop it and we ain't losing that pin in the middle of the night. Swing it out. Whole back of the uh, truck is now open. This is not a woodworking video. This is not a carpet land video. And this is not a painting a car video. Um, I did all this myself, and I don't have any training in none of that. So uh, there's some overspray, and you know the carpet could have been laid a little nicer, but you know I did all this myself. And so we'll talk about the gun storage rack first. We have three Copeland Rhino Ratchet ATVs. Got them off Amazon. Um, absolutely love them. The uh, Copeland V-shaped ones up front. And also in front of that, you see the carpet area. That is three uh, bulletproof, bulletproof plates uh, hidden behind there in the event that one of these weapons goes off while we're traveling for some reason. Somebody's loading it in or taking it out. Because um, we run with our guns hot all the time. So just show you how this works. Push the button, pull the weapon out. We'll put it back in, all the way forward. And these, these things hold these guns really well. Uh, we had the uh, third box up here. As you've seen in the earlier video, we took it out. Uh, just too much storage space. If you have storage space, you're gonna put something in it. So we took that out so we just didn't clutter up the back of the truck with stuff we really don't need to bring uh, we have plenty of storage with the two on the bottom and also when we're we got you know one two three other guests with us uh, they could put their packs back here a, a decent sized cooler if we wanted to so I, I like this open space over here also I can run my full body decoy back here out the way if, if you know time of the year calls for that 
We'll talk about the two uh, drawers next. And this left drawer is kind of like a storage drawer for stuff we'll be using uh, off and on, but it doesn't, you know, open up all the time. Uh, helmet with night vision. You know, of course, that's going to complement with the IR lights up front. We roll into a field. We're going to go blacked out. Uh, call bag, rain gear, snatch strap, gun stuff for suppressors, cleaning gear, things like that. First aid kit, BC, Tylenol, uh, medicine, you know, headache medicine, whatever. Trauma kit, tourniquet, quick clot, and some heavy-duty bandages. Uh, tools, just general tools, screwdrivers, uh, adjustable wrenches for the truck, just in case, you know, something happens and it's something we can fix on them on the fly. And then toiletries, we got baby wipes and toilet papers. When you got ladies with you, that's very handy to have. Uh, this one, you know, only gets open. Get the helmet out and the bag out mostly. This is our primary. This one will stay open all the time. Um, we'll be using uh, throughout the night. We got our gun store, our thermal storage spotters here, headlamps, and extra ammunition with magazines. The two calls, um, the uh, hands free drag from Yoke Ropes along with my lanyards from Yoke Ropes. It's a simple design, it works every time. Check them out on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, extra storage up here. I got a magazine, backup magazine down here. I got a magazine up there. Uh, spotlight, extra decoy, gloves, things of that nature. I do wanna talk about this right here, guys, These ladies. Got this off of Amazon. If you're running a bunch of different batteries or multiple calls, um, I run CR123s, double A's, uh, some 12 volt stuff. So found this, um, on Amazon. It's got a little bit of everything. I put my CR123s here, all my call batteries here, all my, uh, rechargeables for thermals. If I have to switch back to those for some reason, um, I moved, uh, the anchor batteries on, uh, the guns and a couple of the spotters. But I got the backup uh, in the event something happens, you, you know, with the, the battery pack or the wire, we can still go to uh, rechargeables in those devices. Um, put a couple hooks up here and uh, I'm going to add to it. Uh, Badlands pack, chest rig. Uh, that's where I keep my thermal at. So we'll really, once we leave the truck, I got a, my gun, my tripod and my spotters in the uh, pack. Uh, got a couple yoke rope, tripod, hangers right there so when we get a kill, you know, most of the time we're already back at the truck and uh, keep them right there up out the way. So talk about the design. All right, we'll talk about the tripod rack. All we did was come up off the box with some two by fours, ran a one by one uh, tube, across each one, screwed those down to the two by four, and that made a, uh, a wide enough support for this half inch plywood. These are one by four screwed and glued together, and then we just carpeted it up. Um, we got three tripod locations. Uh, the tripod legs go right over into the pasture area, but they do not affect the backseat passengers at all. And that's what we wanted. We didn't want, uh, we wanted everybody in the vehicle to be comfortable and not moving around stuff uh with this setup you got a little bit of storage on both sides and uh show you what you know the carpet why we use the carpet super quiet bring them out one one guy is on the uh pulling stuff out handing it back come back reverse order put the guns away um guys are putting the tripods hold it up and handing them up and that's it uh We've got the lights. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them in here. But we're running red lights for at night. Uh, when we're on the set, gives you enough light in here just to, to look for any items you need. And then, of course, at the end of the night or if you got to work on something, we're going to run the white lights, you know, cleaning a gun. Somebody drops one in the dirt or something. You need to make a quick clean on it. Everything's ran on the toggle switch over here on the right. And just 
if you're doing this in an SUV, all I did was uh, this back rear plug. Uh, didn't run any wires. I just cut the wires to this plug, and that was my hot and ground for the uh, toggle switch. So you don't have to rerun any new lights. Uh, I believe that's going to be it. I appreciate everybody taking the time to watch this long video. And uh, hit me up on Instagram at dropzonehunting underscore ENC. If, I hope you learned something and maybe something you could, you know, build your own rig or some other ideals. So thank you guys for watching. Will you stop? Will you stop? Yeah.